It appears Territorians are taking warnings about social distancing seriously. Darwin's Paraf market had much thinner crowds, while religious institutions are also putting precautions in place. They're planning to extend their public support services beyond their usual congregations. Darwin's weekly Perup markets were much quieter than usual and more precautions were in place. Heavily sanitising those public areas, banister stairways, front of house stalls, removing common areas like cutlery and straws. Stall holders and customers were keeping their distance as advised. The public seemed to be listening to the advice and, and acting accordingly. We always have uh, sanitation and also the cutlery we wrap. Many in the community were still prepared to go and spend for now. I think if there was more cases in the NT or there was like community spread, no, I wouldn't come. I'm not in worry mode yet. I haven't gone to the supermarkets and gone crazy. I'm trying to just avoid that, I'm trying to not, not feel overwhelmed by I think the whole thing. Some are taking other measures to try to stay healthy. Just not going out, I guess, not going clubbing, staying indoors, yeah. Just going to the beach where it's secluded. Remote residents are taking up Larrakia Nation's offer of free travel home from Darwin. And I'm good. Well, Larrakia gave me the ticket. Give ticket to our families that they can return back home. At indoor shops and charity sales, more hygiene was being enforced. We are asking all customers to come in to the shop in the hall to hand sanitise. Tomorrow will be the last day for public services at many churches and we'll be observing all social boundaries and physical distancing uh, as prescribed. After that, many will offer services online. We are going to be uh, filming our Sunday Mass at 9 o'clock every Sunday on Aboriginal radio. It will also be put online. Uh, Although social distancing is affecting the services that churches and religious organisations can provide, they're expecting the need for more support in the community to increase during this time, and so they're extending that to people across the community, religious or not. Who are obviously would be feeling stressed at this time and frightened. We, I have in mind especially the medical profession, who are going to be stretched. To support one another is very important. In every walk of life, Jane Barden, ABC News.